Let's talk about heat pumps. One of the nice things about driving an electric car is not having to pull over to gas up anymore. That is, if you're driving an all-electric vehicle like the Chevrolet Bolt EV, the Nissan Leaf, the Hyundai Kona Electric, or any one of the Teslas just to name a few. There are plenty of plug-in hybrids to choose from as well, such as the Toyota Prius Prime, the Ford Fusion Energy, and the Chevrolet Vault, not to be confused with the Chevrolet Bolt, which is the car that I drive, but eventually you'll need to stop at a gas station if you do choose to go with the plug-in hybrid route. There are, however, some Vault owners out there who like to brag that they've only had to gas up once or twice in a year, and that's due to their daily commute being within the all-electric range of their vehicle. I'm not knocking that by any means, and kudos to them for not having to buy any gas for as long as they can hold out. But all that bragging about not supporting big oil seems to go out the window, not only for them, but for me as well, once winter rolls around and the heating season kicks in. It doesn't matter if you have a plug-in hybrid or a full electric. If you live in an area that experiences cold winter months, then chances are you're still buying oil to keep your furnace or boiler running. That's been the case for me, and this past winter, after moving into my new home, not only was I buying oil to keep warm, but I had a few issues with the furnace kicking out, mainly due to improper maintenance over the years. Luckily, my dad was right there to help out any time I had a problem, but I kept thinking all winter long, there had to be a better solution. And there was. So let's talk about heat pumps. What's a heat pump, you ask? For those of you who don't know, a heat pump, or a ductless mini-split, they go by a few different names, is a heating and or cooling solution made up of an outdoor compressor and then one or more indoor air handling units. Rather than heating air molecules with electricity, they actually extract heat from the outside air by pumping refrigerant through an outdoor unit where it absorbs the heat. The heated refrigerant is then sent into the home and to an indoor air handling unit. Because a heat pump is simply moving heat and not creating heat, they are much more efficient and cheaper to run than traditional heating systems. In the summer months, this process simply works in reverse to provide quiet and efficient cooling for the home. Being an electric car guy, I'm all about efficiency and I'm all about this technology too. In my last home, I actually had a small heat pump unit installed to heat and cool my son's room after he was born because there was no baseboard heating or anything in what was to become his room. That small unit proved well over the years and it's the number one reason why I've decided to take out a 10-year home efficiency loan to outfit this house before winter sets in. With any luck, I will not have to rely on the furnace at all this winter, and I can save some money in the process. All right, so today's the day. I've got Dave's World here. They're the ones that are going to be installing my multi-zone whole home heat pump system. They're actually the ones that installed my heat pump system for my son's room at my previous home. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what they can do for me here at my new home. So one of the things they wanted me to have done was to build out this wall before they showed up, which you can see that I have done. I've got this piece of wood in between the frame of the door and the window. So one of the units is going to go up there. And then over here in the living room, I'm going to be putting another one up on this interior wall, which is unusual because you usually don't put it on an interior wall. But we're going to be clever and we're going to have the uh, piping go behind the refrigerator on the other side. And the last one that they're going to install will be up here in the bedroom. And they're going to be clever again because it's a, an ex interior wall. And on the other side of this wall is the closet. So they're just going to uh, pipe through the closet here to get to the outside. And then we'll have the uh, third one installed up in the bedroom. I'm back in the kitchen, and as you can see, there's a mountain bracket, and we're getting ready to drill a hole in the wall. All right, well, we got our first hole drilled, so didn't hit any electrical wires, so that's always a good thing. <laughs> oh, it's coming along. We've got the uh, mountain bracket up now in the living room, and then over on the other side here, this is the kitchen, and it's going to have the piping come through straight down through the floor and into the basement. This is actually going to be hidden from by the refrigerator. The refrigerator will keep this out of sight. So, yeah, it's looking good. Now it's really starting to come together. Here's the living room unit all 
mounted in place. And over here in the kitchen, we've got the uh, kitchen one mounted as well. So that's looking good. Now all we have to do is get the bedroom one installed. But uh, yeah, over here we've got the uh, piping all secured and looking neat. So yeah, it's really starting to come together here. Looking good. So right now they're finishing up with the one upstairs. So I thought I'd come out and get a recording of what's going on out here. <laughs> Forgive the half and half painted house. I haven't had enough time to, to finish painting it red, but I'll get that done once they're out of here and uh, I'll have a completely red house instead of a half and half. But yeah, that's, that's what's going on out here. Oh, and, and the cat's meowing. Hi, tiger. How you doing? <laughs> but yeah, it's coming along. Almost done. And here we are, a few days later. It's actually the weekend now, and we're having a bit of a heat wave right now. It is 100 degrees outside, but it's a cool 75 in here because these heat pumps work so efficiently, and I've got the air conditioning going right now, and it's just keeping this whole house nice and cool. And if you come over here, you can't even hear it because it's just, it's so quiet. And here's the outdoor compressor. This is what it looks like, and this is what it sounds like. I mean, again, it's 100 degrees out, so I'm not going to stay out here for very long. But if you listen, that's not that loud at all. And it's driving three indoor units, keeping the house at a comfortable 75 degrees. And yes, I painted the whole house now, so the whole house is finally red. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this, this outdoor unit is driving three indoor units and it's keeping the house nice and cool on this 100 degree day today. This is, this is just great, I love this unit and it is huge compared to the other unit that I had on my previous house. I love it, this thing is awesome. And there you have it, I'm thoroughly enjoying this Mitsubishi heat pump install and I'm looking forward to this winter not having to buy any oil or if I do, not quite as much. I'm pretty sure moving forward I can solely rely on this system and I will not have to worry about my furnace anymore. If you've enjoyed this video please leave a comment down below and click on that subscribe button and you'll be notified as soon as I upload another video. And as always thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.